what happens when the crab gets too close to the fish. On the right, you can see the code for the crab. The left and the right arrows move the crab under human control. That means the fish don't know when the crab is coming. Furthermore, if you look carefully, you'll notice that the crab never actually comes in contact with the fish. So we can't use the touch command to tell the fish when to go. So how can the fish know when the crab is coming? What we're going to do is we're going to use a broadcast message to tell the fish when they should run away and when they should come back. Look carefully at these brown blocks. Each time the left arrow is pressed, the crab broadcasts a message saying to the fish to come back. And each time the right arrow is pressed, the crab broadcasts a message telling the fish to run away. Let's have a look at the code for one of the fish. Here's the code for the yellow fish, but the code for the other two fish are nearly identical. It's sitting here waiting to receive one of these two messages. If it receives the runaway message, it waits a half a second and then changes its direction by 50 on the x-axis. In other words, it moves to the right. Likewise, if it receives the comeback message from the crab, it waits a half a second again and then returns to its original position by moving 50 pixels to the left. These broadcast messages are powerful because we can create a single broadcast message that can cause many actors to act in turn. We're going to ask you to use these broadcast messages now on an exercise that's located on your course materials.